Hi everyone, it's finally me making a video after all this crazy time. Like, I don't know, I'm just being like, I, I would make any excuse of why I should not be making a video. And that is lame of me. So, today my excuse is going to be because I look like this. <laughs> With my, yeah, that's hot, isn't it? Isn't that nice? But it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Still my PJs, I go to work at one, so this is what you're getting, sorry. But anyway, so I am jumping in. I need to have an accountability for losing the rest of this weight. So I am using you guys to help me out here, guys, because I need all the support. I'm in Florida, I don't have any friends down here. I don't, you know, I mean, I have friends, but you know, like more like work-related friends, those kind of friends, you know. But, um, so I just need somebody to be like, hey, Beth, where's your video? Or, hey, Beth, are you doing this? Are you doing that? Whatever. So, but, all right, so my weigh-in today, I was 234. So, which, I mean, which is great, you know, now, you guys have to realize that I am, I'm over, like, almost 18 months out. So, um, I'm down like a hundred, about a hundred and two pounds ish. So, um, which I'll take and I'm not going to boohoo about it, but you know, when you hit that stall and first when you hit your lowest, you're like, I am feeling good. I am hot and sexy. I'm skinny. And then you're like, all right, it's been two months. I'm a big heifer and I need to lose the rest of this weight. So that's the stage I'm in right now. So, but I also know is that. I just need to change it up just a little bit. And because I'm a big jerk about exercising, I know that's the change I have to take. So let me just, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about what I do every day because I know I can maintain this weight very easily. Tony and I were talking about this other this the other night and she's just awesome. I love you, Tony. Thank you for the little pep talk I needed. But um, so, um, so th some of the things that I do that really help me maintain and make me feel like I'm doing the right things and all that kind of stuff. I eat, um, in the Susan Maria Leach book, I can't think of what it's called, they have the egg custard recipe, fantastic for mornings. You put them in little ramekins that are like, you know, that big, and they're super duper yummy. I make a batch of them like on a Sunday, stick them in the fridge, and then I have them all week. But, um, and they're easy to just grab and go. So I adore those and I can post the recipe if you guys want me to, I certainly can because it's so good. And it's great for people that are just, just post-op that are kind of on the soft food stage because they're cold, they're soothing, they feel so good just going down, they're easy, they're slider foods. And I am not an egg fan. So, but breakfast, I can't think of anything else that I really want to eat protein-wise in the morning. And protein shakes make me want to, uh, pro you know what, I could do a whole video on how much I hate protein shakes, but I drink them, and, because I have to, and all that kind of stuff. So, but anyway, another story. But, and then also too, like my vitamins I take, vitamins are super duper important. I take a big dose of vitamin D once a month. So um, that's according to my doctor because I'm low on vitamin D. So I take a big dose of that. Once a, it's a once a month pill that I take. And then um, I don't know if you guys have seen on my Facebook, but I'm a huge fan of David Kirsch. And David Kirsch, um, he is um, he's a tr celebrity trainer out of New York City. And I felt I some of the problem because we sell his stuff at work. And I was like, ah, you know, whatever, you know, but I get a discount, so I decided to try his vitamins. And his vitamins come in a box with these little packets in, and you just pour them in your water bottle, shake it up, and there's your vitamins for the day. So I really love them. Now, I do take some um, B12s and things like that as well, uh, but I, the way I get my B12s is I have these guys here, the David Kirsch, I don't know if you can see. They're called thermal bubbles, and the reason why I really take them is, um, first of all, it's a liquid thing, and I feel like I'm killing two birds with one stone because I'm getting some vitamins in while drinking some water, so, um, uh, and it's kind of a no-brainer. I just mix it up in the morning, and I go. But the thermal bubbles, they are a little bit fizzy. Now, guys, realize I'm almost 18 months out, 
So, um, a little fizzy does not does not get on like make me sick or make me feel bloated or whatever. So I, I don't drink I don't I don't drink any sodas or anything like that. This is the only thing I have that has a little bit of it's not even like carbonation, it's more like effervescence. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's a very like low bubble, small bubble kind of um, carbonation to it. It's weird. But again, it comes in a packet and you just put it in your water. Now, the reason why I take this, now, I am not, it's, it's, made, it's called thermal bubbles and it's supposed to help burn fat and all this kind of stuff, but I really don't even take it so much for that as I take it because there is like, um, you get 2,500 MCGs of B12 in it, which is 40, over 41,000% of your daily values. So I use it for the B12. So, and I just love it. And it has other things that are great in there too, like lots of antioxidants, has a little calcium, um, um, you know, a couple different kinds of B6, uh, B vitamins, you know, loaded with your B12, things like that. So this is just another thing that I can add to my water that um, it might curb your appetite just a little bit. That's what they're made for too, is for curbing appetite. Like I said, I don't necessarily hold, you know, that, you know, up to any kind of standard, but I do like, if I'm at work, I've been really trying to do these, these thermo bubbles and then maybe I'll just eat like a protein bar or something like that. And if I work an eight hour shift and I work on my feet all day, so um, I I'm perfectly fine with that all day. So, um, and then I just eat dinner at night or something like that. Should I be doing like a protein shake or something like that? I, I should, I totally should be doing a protein shake, but I dump on protein shakes. So um, it's one of the only times that I dump. So, and speaking of dumping, you know, all of a sudden, peanut butter and peanuts are nuts are, like, killing me. I mean, that was, like, one of my saving graces was peanut butter. I can't do them anymore. So, it amazes me how, like, even though I feel like I'm an old-timer at this surgery, that everything changes still. Like, now, like, I'm starting to, to get sick, like, dump more, things like that. I don't know if it's maybe because I can eat more or... Or, or what it is, but it, it changes. So don't be surprised by that because it definitely changes as you go along. So, um, so yeah, so my mission, and I'm swearing it to you guys, is that I'm going to start exercising because I literally have not exercised since before Christmas. So I'm going to make a big old lame-ass excuse, but I had such a terrible cold from the week before Thanksgiving until about two or three weeks ago. I'm talking chest cold where I thought I was going to hack a lung for uh, over a month. And you know when you just, you're, it's all in your chest, you just feel like crap and you don't feel like doing anything. But I could have done a little something, but, um, but I didn't. So anyway, so, um, so that's it. So, okay, so um, I'm going to try to do these on Monday. Monday. I know way in Wednesday just rhymes better, but we're going to do Mondays, okay? Because then it'll count, like, you know, for the weekend fat girl and all that kind of stuff. It'll make me see the damage I did for the weekend, if I did, and go on from that. So, um, so yeah. Glad to see everybody. Aren't you glad to see me today? Look at that. That is some hot stuff. That hair. Woo! I mean, this is what Florida does to my hair. Do you see the frizz and the curls? It's ridiculous. I gotta plaster that shit back. Oh, excuse my language. But, um, all right, everybody, comment me. Hello, everyone. I miss everyone so much. Oh, and plug for the WLSFA. Um, I need volunteers to help me get um, packets of information to the list of bliss doctors. So if you are on the list of volunteers um, on the website for the WLSFA, um, you should be get and you um, signed up to do, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but anyway, um, you'll be hearing from me this week, probably tomorrow, and um, I'll need your name and address and um, if your doctor is on the Bliss Doctor list. So um, first start by making sure I have your email address so I can email you that list 
and then the more the merrier, the more outreach we can do, the better. So I should have all the, um, the, the flyers and printing and all that stuff done by the end of this week. So um, you'll get your packets um, as soon as possible. So there's a little process to it. Um, so if you're interested, though, please get in touch with me and just email me um, or send a message through YouTube or, or whatever um, and let me know. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Hope everybody's doing well. Call me. Bye.